Hello, learners. How are you? Today, we will discuss the topics that we will be studying in our first topic in our book, Envision Geometry. So we start topic number one, foundation of geometry. What we will take here in this topic, our lessons that we will study is lesson one, measuring segments and angles. And then lesson two, basic constructions. And then lesson three, which is about midpoint and distance. As you have seen, as you have noticed in each lesson, there will be an essential question. Also, there is vocab that we need to memorize. Terminology is really important in geometry so that you can proceed in it. Now, and there are common core state standards. I can, which is the objectives of the lesson and lesson overview. For each lesson, you will find that. Let's see what is the essential question for lesson one. How are the properties of segments and angles used to determine their measure? What you can use the properties of segments and angle to find their measure. Now the lesson overview is the content of the lesson. As you can see here, we have concepts, we have examples, we have postulate, we will discuss them all in details. And at the end, we have concept summary. And then do you understand? This is a very important part of our lesson. Let me show you. It's a question that, uh, a question or two that will uh, assess your knowledge or understanding of the topic here given. And then do you know how? It's done. So this is our first lesson. At the end of the book, or not the end of the book, the end of the lesson, we have practice and problem solving. Many, many questions with different levels and different approaches. Some is direct, some is word problem. We will solve many of them. Okay. Let's go to lesson one, two, which is about basic constructions. Again, the essential question, how to use geometry tools to make basic construction. What you can do here is to use a uh, straight edge and compass to construct basic figures. This is in lesson one, two. Example one, copy a segment, we will learn how to copy a segment. As you can see, it's an interactive uh, and, and we can use it. How to copy an angle? How can you construct a copy of angle A? We have here study tip, you can use a protractor to confirm that the two angles are congruent. So the word congruent, we should know what congruent means. And then the concept summary. And do you understand? Mm. We will check the answer. You have to fill it down. And then do you know how? As you can see, it's an interactive uh, tool that you can use to solve. And then the practice and problem solving here. Also another set of questions that you can easily solve, hopefully. It's going to be easy. And then the last lesson in this uh, topic, which is the midpoint and distance. How are the midpoint and length of a segment on the coordinate plane determined? What is a coordinate plane? You should know what uh, is meant by coordinate. Plane. What's the difference between segment and line and ray? Again, vocabulary, terminology, what you can use the midpoint and distance formula to solve problems. And we have the lesson 
overview. Let's see the model and discuss here. We have a model, a question that you need to solve. She's decorating her living room, etc. And you can use these tools to solve the question. And then habits of mind. What is an appropriate tool? What tool did you use to help you answer the question? Why was it helpful to use the tool you did? These are questions, critical thinking questions that you can answer. And then we go through concept again, another concept, the midpoint formula. How is it calculated? Example one, example two. And then the concept again here. Yeah. And then as I told you, at the end of each lesson, you will find the concept summary, which is very important when revising the lessons. And then do you understand questions to answer? And then how you know, uh, do you know how? Another questions to answer. And then at the end, the practice and problem solving from which your homework will be assigned here. Yeah. And that's, it. this is our first topic. I wish you all the best in your studies and I hope it's going to be an easy topic along with all topics in our geometry. See you soon, bye-bye.